If you enjoy pecans like I do, then try growing a pecan tree in your yard. There's a variety of pecan trees that do well in our desert climates, and this one happens to be a Mahan pecan. And it's self-fertile, so I only need one tree. In early spring, when first leaves begin to show, you'll start seeing long pollen-bearing catkins. As the wind blows, these catkins release their pollen onto the small, inconspicuous flowers found all over the pecan tree. Soon, these little flowers become pecan nutlets. By late November, early December, the leaves on the tree begin to change color and the outer shells of the nuts begin to open up. This always reminds me of a hand opening up to offer the nut. That's the time when you want to harvest. And it's as simple as just opening it up and letting the nut fall into your hand. Look at these pecans. That's just wonderful. And look how many pecans I've already gotten off this small tree already. And not even done harvesting yet. When I am done harvesting all the nuts though, I'm gonna let them dry for about a month before you're ready to start cracking and enjoying your pecans. Oh, one other thing. Pecan trees can get quite large if you let them. But if you prune them back like I've done with this one and keep them nice and compact, they'll produce lots of nuts year after year. So put a pecan tree in your yard. You'll be glad you did. <music>